everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Ever Music and we're back with another One Finger Riff video. These are some of your suggestions. We've got heaps of my favorite artists in this video, so thank you for suggesting them. If there's another song that you want to learn, leave a comment below. If you're new to guitar, if you're wondering, yeah, I want to play more than just One Finger Riffs, Pat, check out the playlists in the description of this video. They're free. There's one if you want to learn about theory. There's one if you are just starting, you want to learn chords, write your own songs, in the description below. Otherwise, hit me up on my social media if you need help or you've got questions. But hey, let's get started. Tune up your guitar. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with some palm muting. So use the thickest part of your meaty hand of your palm and you want to rest it on the string so it sounds like this when you strum. And you just want to play the top thickest strings, the two strings. All right? Then, for this song, use your first finger on the second fret of the A string and you play the open six string so you've got an E power chord. I'll just move my hand over here so you can see, so it'll be one, two, three. Go for that sound. Once you can do that quite quickly, three times, the next chord is you want to move your first finger up to the third fret of the E string and you just play that one string. See what we've got so far. Go back three times again. Then you go back to the start. So we've got so far. Then the last part of this section, you move your first finger to the first fret of the A string and you play that fret. Then up a string to the second fret of the E string. That's half the riff. And the next half of the riff, then I'll show you chunky power chords. And the second half of the riff, now I like the live version where they add in a couple more strums, so let me show you that. Have a look, it starts so similar to the first half of the riff. Then stop, then it's two quick uh, sort of chugs. Then first fret on the A string. Second fret on the E string. First fret on the E string. And that's it. Here's the entire thing. Here's how it would sound with power chords. And that's it, heaps of fun. That's the first riff, let's check out the next one. All right, so next we're checking out Simple Song by The Shins. Thank you very much for the suggestion. Haven't heard it for a long time. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have your first finger on the second fret of the G string, the third string there, and you want to play the open D above it. And we're going to pretend like that's a full D chord. So even though you're just using one finger, think of that as a D chord, right? Have a listen to the tricky rhythm. So I'll show you what I'm strumming with. Down, down, down. So one, two, three, down, down, down. Then twice, then you change chord. So three times down, then twice down. And then the second part is you just move your first finger up and you play that top part of the A chord once. And then you start again. So just so you can see the strumming pattern, three strums, one, two, three. Then two strums, then jump up and play once, then loop again. Once you can do that, that first time when you're playing it three times, try and add in an up strum. So it'll be down, down, up. That's the next step. That is 
really half of the song. It just revolves around that D chord and that A chord. But it's all about that rhythm. Second, sort of a two thirds of the way through the verse, I'd say, you go into a G chord, but it's exactly the same rhythm. If you're just playing with one finger, so here's how you play the G chord if you're not sure. But if you're playing with one finger, you could just have your first finger on the third fret of the G string. And again, same rhythm. And then back to your A chord. And again, try and add in down, down, up. Sounds like this. Nice one. So although there's a lot to think about with this song, just practice that rhythm. And if you want me to teach you more of the song, leave a comment below. Thanks for the suggestion. Pilgrim by Iron Maiden. Great song. As you can see, a little tricky. I can show it with you one finger, but I'm like anything, I'm gonna suggest you use more. I'll show you both versions. Here we go. Okay, so a little bit of distortion. I'm on the neck sort of pickup. It can be on whatever you want. Let's dive in. So, how I would play this uh, with one finger is you would come up with your first finger and you would be on the 12th fret of the B string. You play that twice. Then you go back two frets, same string, 10th fret. Then up a string and you play 12th, 11th, 9th. If you're not sure where to find the 12th fret, it's normally the double dots on your guitar. So 12th, 11th, 9th. And what we've got so far? So the other thing that you need to think about is really economy of motion or how can you move the slightest so you can play the fastest and so you can, you know, use less energy. So here's the fingers I was actually playing with at the start. Third finger on the 12th. First finger on the 10th. Third finger on the 12th. Second finger on the 11th. First finger on the 9th. Just practice that. Much easier, less flying around with one finger. There you go. Next part, first finger, 10th fret on the B string, and you play the 10th fret twice. Then third finger, 12th, pinky 13th, third finger, 12th. And that's the second part. So first part again. Second part. Third little tail end of this section is a quick run. And it's third finger on the 12th fret, B string. First finger on the 10th. Third finger on the 12th. Second finger on the 11th. First finger on the 9th. And then just starts the riff again. The next part is a little bit different. You put your first finger on the 10th fret of the B string. You play that twice, then you do that final run, so third finger on the 12th fret, 11th fret, 9th fret. Then you do another run and you do 12th, 11th, 9th again. Pinky up on the 12th fret of the string above, first finger on the 9th fret. I know it's a lot to handle, but that sort of is there like a nice little hook, I suppose. It sounds like this. So this second section, the first part. Second part. Third part. The next 
next part of the riff is actually the first section repeated, so you already know it. And the last part is this nice little sort of tail end, third finger on the 12th fret of the B string, you play that twice, then 10th, then that 12th, 11th, 9th on the string above. First finger on the string below for the 10th twice. So this last section. And that's it. And here's the whole thing. Thanks for the suggestion, heaps of fun. I know it's a little tricky. Take your time, great riff to know. Thanks for the suggestion. All right, so we're checking out Scar Tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Great song, a little bit hard. Uses multiple fingers on this hand and on this hand, what? But I'll show you one finger method and you'll understand why it's way better to use multiple fingers. But here we go, diving right on in. So using your first finger on the eighth fret, of the A string, and then your third finger, you just want to leave it all the time on the 10th fret of the B string. Now the reason is, otherwise you'd have to do this. There's so much jumping around, it's crazy. It's way easy if you just leave it there. Now what I would also suggest is using your pick for any thicker strings and using your third finger for any of the lighter strings. Rather than... Just so much motion here. Try that. Okay, so to start with, you wanna play that eighth fret, then the 10th fret, then back up, then back down. So it sounds like this. play each note three times. Once you've done that, you move your first finger up a string to the eighth fret, and you move your second finger onto the ninth fret of the G string. You use your first finger and your third finger to pinch the strings and to play both strings together. Then you play it again, but the second time you play that same chord, you slide it up so that both fingers are on the tenth frets of their respective strings. from the beginning. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, and that last part is once you've done that, then you use your second finger to slide back from the 10th fret to the 9th fret. And the last quick note before you continue, is your first finger on that eighth fret of the E string. So here's the first half of the riff. And then you start that riff again. Here's what the second part sounds like. Start off playing exactly the same as what we did in the first part. Then you play that chord again, both fingers together. Then you put your third finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Then you pick and pull off to the fret behind it. the entire thing. Is it tricky? Yes, but it's fun. Have a go. Here's what it sounds like. Is it tricky? Yes. Is it fun? Yes. Thank you for the suggestion. Next song coming up.
Next one is alive by Pearl Jam. Thank you for the suggestion. So, first finger, well, you're gonna need a distortion, of course, but first finger on the second fret of the D string, and you're gonna turn that into an A chord. Or an A power chord. Then your first finger comes all the way up on the seventh fret of the A string. Just practice that to begin with. Next, you wanna play the open D string. Then your first finger hammers on, so you only pick once on the seventh fret. Then your third finger hammers on, so again, you've only picked that open string, hammers on to the ninth fret of the same string. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. back to that 7th fret. And then you just, you know, give it a bit of vibrato. And that's the first half. Then, start it very similar, second half. Again. Then back to the 7th fret. This is the tricky part. You use your third finger on the ninth fret and you bend the string down so it sounds like the tenth fret. So you bend down, then release it back up. Then you play the seventh fret again. So let's do it nice and slow. the open string and the string below. Here it is nice and slow. Thank you heaps for the suggestion. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. It always helps. If you've got questions, you want more songs, leave a comment below. If you really want help, hit me up on my social media. But otherwise, I'll see you again for another video very soon. Thanks for watching.